Back in 2017, when Discord was a way smaller deal than it is now, they released a new feature, Reach Presence. It was quite a fun way to check what games other people are playing, but what's even more interesting, you could view details like what's the current game state, how long the game is running, and even join or spectate. At the beginning only a few games supported it, but Discord provided an amazing coding interface that allowed everyone to set up Reach Presence integration in their own games. Today I'm gonna show you how to set it up in just a few minutes, how to use all the customization options and how to integrate that in both Unity and Godot. First we need to quickly set up our game. Go to discord.com slash developers, here create a new application and name it the same as your game. Once created, go to the Rich Presence, Visualizer and start previewing what you can do with Rich Presence and how it will look like on Discord. We'll get back to it in the step 3 of this video. But in the meanwhile, time to add logic to our game code. I will start with Unity. In theory, you should be able to download the official package from the Discord developer website, but I found that this unofficial package works much better. In your Unity project, go to Window, Package Manager, and then go to Project Settings right here. We need to add a scoped registry. Please enter those details and click Apply. Finally, in the Package Manager, click Add Package by Name and paste this. That's it for the installation, now let's quickly create a script that will communicate with Discord. Name it Discord Manager and add it to your scene, for example to the main camera. Discord Manager will have a total of 4 methods. First, at start will initialize Discord and assign it to its own variable. Here, please enter your application ID, which you can find in the application dashboard. We also need to dispose it on the table. Then a very important method, which I called change activity, that will send the updated state to Discord. For now, we'll only provide state and the details, but we'll come back to that in the part 3 of this video. For testing purposes, I'll run it immediately after the start. Finally, we need to run all queued callbacks in the update method like that. And that's it! Save the script and run your Unity game. After a second of loading, you should see your updated status in the Discord. We'll customize it in a second, but first let's do the same in Godot. Godot installation will be even easier. Go to the linked page and download the add-on. Then unpack it and drag the add-ons folder to your Godot project. Go to Project, Project Settings, Plugins tab and click Enable next to the Discord plugin. To complete installation, we need to restart Godot. Similarly as before, let's create a script that will configure Discord Reach Presence. I will call it Discord Manager. Here in the ready function, I will add line with app ID, you can get that from the Discord dashboard, some info about current state and details, and refresh function to send data to Discord. To test it out, I'll quickly create a new node on the scene called Discord Manager and add the newly created script to it. Now when we'll run the game, Discord will also show a rich presence. If that works for you, give this video a like. Thank you! Time for the last part, rich presence customization. At the beginning I showed you that you can open a visualizer in Discord dashboard to test out all the different settings. Let's try it out. In state, define what player is doing at the moment. Use details for whatever is applicable in your game. Then you can also use timestamps to either show how much time has elapsed from beginning or how much time remains in this round. And if you're playing a multiplayer game, define party or room ID here and then define current party size and max size to have this nice display. Finally, images. Go to the art assets on the left and upload graphics. Remember to give them good IDs because that's how we'll be referencing them in scripts. In Visualizer we can then select them as either a large image, which should be your game logo or game mode presentation, and a small image that can represent your player class, selected map, main skill or whatever you want. 
I like using this visualizer because when we're done, we can go to the show code tab and get this cheat sheet for our values set up. In Godot, they have almost the same names, so they are pretty easy to map, while in C Sharp, it's a bit more work, but based on the provided template you can see, it should be a quick job. When we now run our game, Discord should present a beautiful, rich presence widget. Two quick tips. You may not know, but instead of using predefined Discord assets, you can also input an URL to an image. Please use that only if it is necessary. And second, of course you can change all of that info along the way, but please avoid changing data in the update method, instead just change it whenever the user clicks on menu options or something in the game changes. Check out other videos shown on the screen and also big thanks to all the CoCode supporters. See you soon!